I remember discussing this with a professor of biochemistry. I was having a, is the English breakfast good for you argument? He, I said to him, well, if you eat too many carbohydrates, it's converted into fat. The fat is converted into VLDLs, triglycerides. The triglycerides go around your body, losing uh, fat, and they're turned into LDLs. LDL goes back into your into your liver where it's re reused. The, the various proteins and things it needs are reused. And he said, how do you know that? I went, well, I read it. <laughs> I said, and, and I spoke to people. Um, and he didn't seem to know that this was the case. So I was looking at him thinking, you're a professor of bio lipidology. Or something. Anyway, but it was almost like he couldn't say this because once you start saying this to people, they go, so if you eat carbohydrates, your LDL must go up. You go, no, it doesn't actually. It's interesting. But your VLDL is here. And the only source of LDL is this. Your VLDL goes here and your LDL stays rigidly here. All right. What does this tell you, gentle reader? It tells you that the liver can control the level of LDL and does so, and it does it very easily. And it, it really makes no difference what your VLDL does to your LDL, mm -hmm. because the, the, the liver doesn't care. It controls the LDL level. It, it puts out more receptors, it pulls it in, it takes it in as needed. What does this tell you? Well, it tells you that some people with familiar hypercholesterolemia, which I talked about earlier, where you don't have LDL receptors, and there's a very rare condition where you have both genes, so your LDL is like, if, if your normal is three, then you've got 30 and 40 or whatever. If you do a liver transplant on these children, the LDL level becomes normal like that. It's so straight like that. You said, well, why is that? It's because the liver controls your LDL level. You and, and it has nothing to do with the amount of saturated fat you eat. Nothing to do with the amount of saturated fat you eat. Right. And people say, ah, oh, but if you give people polyunsaturated fats, the LDL level goes down. Said, yes, it does go down. And do you know the reason for that? And they don't because they don't read anything, is that polyunsaturated fats and oils have a lot of things called stanols in them. You might have heard of stanols and sterols. Lower yes, stanols, I have, yeah. yeah. Plant stanols lower your cholesterol. Mm -hmm. well, they don't actually lower your cholesterol. Are you speaking vegetable oils right vegetable now? Vegetable oils, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, the vegetable oils themselves, but within that are the vegetable stanols. Mm -hmm. Because cholesterol is found in all, is found in cell membranes, which are what animals have. And in cell walls, which is what plants have, they have a thing called a stanol or a sterol, which is the, they're interchangeably used. Now, cholesterol is actually a form of stanol or sterol. It's just that we don't tend to call it that. So if you eat lots of vegetables and stuff, you get a lot of stanols and sterols, and the body absorbs these instead of cholesterol, right? And then it, then it deals with them differently, and your LDL level drops because of this, because the liver's not getting enough cholesterol it's getting stanols and sterols it's not the saturated fat that makes your ldl go up it's the stanols and sterols and the way they're dealt with in the liver that makes your ldl go down because the liver's reabsorbing it more rapidly and you're arguing with me you've never even heard you don't even know what a stanol is you don't know what a vldl is you've no idea how saturated fat is dealt with in the body you don't even know where a D ldl molecule comes from you yeah. don't know what it contains you know nothing about it and yet you're telling me this is how heart disease works. But actually, if you've got a high VLDL level and a low HDL level, that means you've got insulin resistance. I see. Yeah. And you're eating too many carbohydrates. Right? So so looking at your cholesterol is a good indicator of heart well, disease, but not in the way <laughs> that people think. Well, the, the, the LDL is the thing that people are focused on saying that's, that's right. the one that causes yeah. heart disease. You go, well, actually, A, it's not cholesterol. Stop calling it cholesterol. It's just stupid. Um, B, it's got nothing to do with the rate of heart disease. It's giving you what you call your total cholesterol level. Mm. That includes your VLDL, your HDL, and your LDL. Your VLDL level is divided by five, for reasons unknown to man. Um, your HDL is calculated, and then what's left is considered to be your LDL. It's called mm -hmm. the fried wall equation. It's horribly inaccurate. You go to three laboratories and ask for your total cholesterol, your, 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 your VLDL, and your HDL, and you'll get a different answer from all of them. Mm -hmm. Not even within 30%, I'll guarantee I've done it. 